Batter up, sports card fans. Woo-hoo-hoo! Finally here. A little late to the party, but it's not my fault, I promise. We, uh, we've scoured our local retail stores. Nothing. These finally came from Target today. Um, haven't gotten anything from, from um, Tops himself. I have not received the uh, was it Dick's Sporting Goods that randomly had the, the pre-order as well. I haven't received those. Um, but here we go. Here's our first look at Tops Chrome this year. We have talked all about it. We will not be seeing any uh, allegedly... We will not be seeing any short prints of the big five out of here. However, you can pull their autographs. So I should say the rookie uh, big five. Let's adjust that. because This is going to be chrome. It's going to be shiny. Um, so I can already see that there's going to be one of the inserts that I really, really like. Um, so let's see. Muller. And then Fernando. It's, of course, going to be... P.E.D. Tatis, but I still, these new classics, beautiful. There's also another insert hopefully we get out of this. If we don't, we'll, we'll talk about it later. There we go. The sepia insert. We're going to get sepia and pink inserted in there. Nothing really crazy there. The Dylan Carlson um, gold cup is pretty nice, though, so don't want to discount that. So, um... For blasters, you're going to absolutely get your... Ooh oh, I thought that was a gold. I was going to say, holy moly. Uh, as I was just saying, you're going to get your money's worth. Pete Alonso, nice. In regards to parallels. Because A, you're getting a sepia or a... Um, I like the... Um, obviously, that's the set I collect. You guys know that. You're getting the sepia or the pink. Uh, getting... Four of them in total, you know, two and two. Um, but then you also have a good chance, like this one looks like that's going to be one of the pink ones. So we got Rizzo in the Yankees. And look at that. This is a, a pretty tough pull to get the negative. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. We'll talk about that negative in a second. Here we go. It looks pretty dang good. And it is centered. Oh, that is nice. I'm not seeing any print lines on it or anything. And there we go, Ambergy. Uh, you do have to check because sometimes there's magenta in here too. And they don't do a great job of noting which one is magenta and which, which one is the pink refractor. So there is that. All right. little off-camera top loading, but... Had to get that one protected. That is great. And we got that right off the bat. First block blaster. So, um, yeah, you're going to get your money's worth on parallels for sure. Um, you're pretty much going to get a refractor, a prism. And we got lucky with the, uh, the negative there. Bobby D, little buster negative. So we'll just kind of keep track of everything. And hopefully we can get, like, a nice autograph or something out of this. That would be great. There we go. What a box. And we're going to get the perp. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to get uh, a nice... It's going to be a Seattle Mariner. We're going to sleeve up O'Neill Cruz here in a second. And we're getting the Kelnick second year. Look at that. Holy moly. That is a beautiful card out of 299 I still like Kelnick. I think he's going to hopefully bounce back next year. Joey Gallo on the Yankees. And Fairchild, rookie, sepia. Not too shabby. Uh, we're going to pause for a moment as I sleeve these ones up as well. All right, so not too shabby there. Um, centering on this as well is pretty great. The quality is pretty great. So, so far, I've been uh, pretty excited about the condition and the quality of these cards um not a ton of quality issues you definitely saw some sticking going on in some of the breaks we're gonna put muller over here we'll sleeve them up afterwards um 
you've so definitely saw some sticking situations in the uh, the hobbies if you watched any of those. We're gonna get another one of the eighty sevens in here. That's gonna freak me out every single time thinking I have a uh, a gold refractor. And Lothar is another one here. So, all right, we got two packs left. We are owed a pink and no, we got the other sepia. So. Let's see if we can pull the prism. Let's get a nice prism. Here's the pink, and we're getting the prism in this one, too. So let's see if we can get really, really lucky with a nice... It's not going to be Verland, or not going to be uh, Frank, uh, Brandon Crawford. Not the name you really want out of your prism, but we do get Joey Ryan right behind it. We'll put the prism up there, and then we get Cody Bellinger as the pink. Not too shabby. We'll put that also up there. Joey Ryan will also get sleeved up afterwards. So I don't know what will be in this one since I think we've got everything that we are owed, so to speak. So let's just see. This is all this is all just extra gravy. I think we get another refractor out of this, so that'll be nice. Let's let's hit a hit a nice one here. And Zach Grinky. So there are, as soon as I say that there's no quality issues, look at the centering on this one. Look at the print line on this one. <laughs> so as soon as I as soon as I declare that this set is all set, don't worry about it. <laughs> that happens. But all in all, I love Chrome. I think everyone's freaking out about it. I mean, obviously, the thing that I hate the most is that they're $35 uh, when they used to be $20 still. Um, but I get that. They haven't raised prices in 20 years, so I get it. And this is a premium product. It shouldn't be the same as base, so I get it. Uh, I really do get it. I love that they kept the small rookie logo for it, even though I hate that. I hate the size of it. Um, what I don't like is that they added it to the O'Neill Cruz. Um, so that's really annoying because that probably means that they like did all of this at once. Um, but the small rookie logo was a nice way to tell what his true rookie was. So to see it in Chrome is nice, but it's it's weird to see it now with O'Neill Cruz. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but I love that. Very, very nice. Cannot complain when you get the pretty much the best two rookies uh, out, of, out of your first blaster box. And then I still like Kelnick, and that's a beautiful. The speckle, spackle, speckle, whatever they want to call it. The sparkle, speckle, spackle uh it's beautiful it's gorgeous so would love to get some of the, the top rookies would love to pull a wander in that one because that looks really really nice so not too shabby leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on tops chrome are you buying still and are you going to try to go into the uh the tops second choice um deal drawing for the uh the silver packs um so does that make you want to buy more so want to make you buy less. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, stay tuned. Flagship Friday this week, I'll go through all of that. Um, subscribe to the channel, please, before you go anywhere. Make sure you click the little bell icon so you stay notified every time we post a video. And then when you're done with that, head on over to Instagram and Twitter. Give me a follow, at GDubsCollects. I appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are on Chrome and let me know if you've had any monstrous hits out of it. Would love to hear it. So take care, stay safe, keep the hobby alive, keep on collecting.